The Vue.js ecosystem is constantly changing, so I thought I'd take a look today at some of the newer component libraries and frameworks out there and give you my opinion on them. So I got this idea from Vue.js subreddit. The top story here is the best Vue component library. And what surprised me is the number one on there that someone recommended was tailwind.primeview. If you've been watching this channel for a while, I've done quite a few videos on different component frameworks. I think I even did one on primeview, but not this new tailwind primeview. So looking at this, it's really interesting. They call it the tailwind CSS based UI component library for Vue.js. So I think right away, tailwind is immensely popular. What I've seen in the past with component libraries is that out of the box, they look great, but when you start trying to put your own styles, override things, it becomes really difficult. Plus you have to learn a lot of uh, theming of it and that takes some brain power and some time to get going. So I like a library that's already based on something like Tailwind, which is really extremely popular. Now the way they do it in here, they have something called these presets and they have two of them out of the box. One is called Prime One, and one's called wind. And if you can see here, as I choose the toggle between the two, it looks different already. I'm gonna leave it on prime one. The idea behind this is they wanna make it really simple for you to set your own styles. They also have this very interesting pass-through system. So you can really get to the internals and completely change the look and feel of your prime view components. If you use prime view in the past, this is gonna look very familiar. The components actually look exactly the same. They're all built upon Tailwind. So if you look at the source, you'll see all the Tailwind classes on there. Now, one thing they too do too is you can have this builder. You can either download every single preset for Lara Win for every single component, or you can just download uh, individual ones as well. And if you look at any of the components, it gives you an idea what these presets look like. But let's say you go to checkbox and look at this presets. Here's what they look at. You could see the classes that they're putting on. And when you use this, you actually download a pre all these presets and you put them in its own folder and you can edit them right away. Out of the box, if you don't download any presets, it's unstyled completely. So then you can completely style it however you like, or you can download these presets and then edit them since they're just objects that you can change. So I really like this idea. Uh, they also have this whole gallery view. If you go into, if you go into gallery, if you really like material UI. They have a example of someone, this actually the creator here, created the material design for input switch. You can actually take a look at the source and look at it. And I believe in the future, they're gonna have more presets. If you wanna have the Shad CDN or material, you're gonna be able to download that preset and use it and still use it with Tailwind. I really like this. I could see where this is gaining some popularity. Also, they have a really good YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. The creator of this, uh, has been putting out weekly videos on how to use it and they're really trying to get some momentum for this framework. I still like Vutify a lot. I love the creator of Vutify, but I think this is worth taking a look at. And if you guys want to see more of this, let me know too. Maybe I could do like a, a quick like 10, 15 minute tutorial, try out some of these components. I mean, the components themselves look great. They have a whole bunch of them, multi-select, drop downs, tree selects, sliders, ratings, everything you would expect from a component libraries here, which is awesome. And they also have some more advanced ones like data tables and data views. If you are looking for a component library like Tailwind, this is the way to go. A second thing I wanted to mention, this view use is one of my favorite libraries in the Vue ecosystem. If you don't know, it has a bunch of composables that you can work with. And I wanted to talk about two of them today for you, partly because there's just hundreds of them and it's always good to like learn what other people are doing. So I actually went through and did a search of Reddit and a few other places and these two ones keep kept coming up, these two composables. And that is the use date format and use dark. So let me explain each. And I think the best way to do that is just to do it through the playground. By the way, you can go to play.viewuse.org and just try out these different composables. So the first one is use dark. And all you need to do is import in use dark and uh, well, basically a, a toggle. If you want to toggle it off and on, that's another composable. What it's going to do is every time I press this button, it's going to switch it to dark mode. And the way this works is it actually uses, it uses Tailwind's dark mode by default. And what that does is it just adds this HTML class equals dark onto it. If you look at the source code, let's say inspect this, you can see right here, there's an HTML class there and you can see it adds dark to it 
and it removes it. So that's all it's doing. However, if you're not using Tailwind, you can still use Use Dark. Uh, what you need to do is you just have to choose the selector, the attribute, the value for dark and light, and then it'll act basically do the same thing. In this example right here, if the attribute's called color scheme and it's on the body, you can toggle that between light and dark itself. So I think this is pretty cool. I think one of the first things I always do in any kind of component framework is I start adding in dark mode because no one likes light mode. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, the Tailwind Prime, you can do dark mode as well. And you can actually have different colors to it, like different different subtle subtleness to different dark modes. So if I click here, I can choose different surface colors for it, which uh, is kind of neat. Anyways, so use dark, definitely a composable that I would add to any website because everybody needs a dark mode. And the second one I want to talk about is use date format. I actually saw a couple of videos on this on YouTube and it seemed pretty popular. So I had never used it and I tried it out. Uh, if you ever use like the JavaScript date, I always forget what format it is. Or if you use the international date, I always forget how to do that. I'm always looking that up in MDN. This is very straightforward. You just import in use date format. And if you want to use use now as well, and use date format takes three different options. Use, the first one is the date. Now use now, if I just kind of come over here and I add in use now, and I fix this, cause this doesn't make sense. You can see here, it just added in the date right here and it's reactive and it's updating in real time, which is nice. So I can pass this in and use this formatter to put exactly the date I want on here. So if I, uh, I'll put it, uh, this formatted here. And so now it's taking the day, day, year, year, month, month, hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second, and it's adding in here. So the first parameter is the date. The second is the format. And the third, if you need to do add locales, you can add locales in here for like English, any ISO locale that you want, you can add in. So it's, it's really uh, straightforward and easy to use if you're using dates and using view use, I would le recommend looking at it. By the way, the view use team have gone crazy since last time I looked at it. I did a video on this, I don't know, about a, a year ago. And they have just keep, they keep on adding more and more things. Uh, I wish I had time to show this, but obviously it, they've added in view use head. I think they've had this out for a while, but it's view three ready. It's been that way for a while. They have view use motion, which is really neat. I might have to do a video on this. Let me know in, in the comments if you do want to see that. It looks really neat. They have gestures. They have sound. So they keep on adding all these add-ons, which is great. Also, I, I'm a big fan of RxJS. I don't know if you guys ever use streams. If you came from the Angular world, we use this a lot. It's pretty nice. All right, that's all I wanted to show you guys. So if you are, if you uh, want to use a new component framework library, tell me how you like this Prime View, Tailwind Prime View. Let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to know. Thanks.